Let me give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to prove that climate change is a scam. First, we have to make sure that we're arguing on the basis of facts and not feelings. What's that phrase again, Ben? So if you want to argue against climate change, I'll provide you a how-to guide on what it would take to change people's minds on this topic, or really any topic. We need to attack the evidence. If you disagree with someone or think that they've cherry-picked information, then show them. On this channel, I said everything I do, so it makes it a lot easier to go through the references, redo the math, or show me where I went wrong. But make sure you're steel manning the other opponent. You don't want to straw man their positions. Regardless, going after someone's actual evidence will always be more effective than spouting uninformed opinions on a topic. When you're arguing against these climate change believers, you need to look at what core beliefs they hold. If someone believes climate change is real since the 1900s and human caused, then you need to attack that core belief. They probably think that CO2 causes planet warming, so prove it wrong. There's experiments that we can easily do to disprove the greenhouse effect. In fact, you could set up two greenhouses side by side and fill them with different levels of CO2 concentrations and measure the temperature difference over a year. And there's even simpler experiments that you could just do at home. But maybe you personally believe that climate change is real but not human caused. Then show the evidence that volcanoes or other non-human processes are increasing CO2 levels. It's easy to do the math, calculate how much CO2 humans have produced since the 1900s to now, and then you can see how much CO2 concentration today would be the cause of humans. Or maybe you believe that it's both man-made and human-caused, but the economic damage is negligible or too expensive. Then you can explain why Tolls or Nordhaus's old economic estimates are better than the current ones. Where Toll said that we can just live inside like the Saudis, or Nordhaus said that only 10% of jobs are outdoors, so they're the only ones that'll be affected by climate change. With the greenhouse example that we had, you could show that food production isn't hindered by additional 30 plus Celsius days, because you could control the temperature. Or show that the exact indirects on the cost of something have been wildly increased by the carbon taxes here in Canada. If steel is increased by like 40%, then how much of that is the actual carbon tax? Or maybe you have data that transmission lines are just way too expensive. If you've made it this far, then you either know what this channel is about or you're about to figure it out. But I want to start with something personally about myself. I've changed my views more times than I can count. I was a conservative for most of my life and despised Trudeau when he first came into office, though I did support changing our voting system. I supported Maxim Bernier when he came second in the conservative race in 2017 and supported the People's Party even. I thought that Bill C-16 was the end of free speech in Canada and I bought Jordan Peterson's first personality test. I was a fan of Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, and anybody who would stand up to SJWs at the time. Most of my views have evolved and changed over the course of my life, and I'm clearly more of a small L liberal, if you've seen any of my other videos. I say this to show you all that I've changed my opinions before, and I'm going to change them again. I don't care about political parties. The driving force for changing my beliefs was in the search of truth and desire to encourage human happiness. It was really hard to be anti-gay when you understand biology. It was really hard to be anti-immigrant when half your friends came from another country. So if you want to change my mind on any topic, Topic, what I presented in this video would do it. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. And we'll see which one of us is the flat earther who goes up in a rocket. As antagonistic as this video probably sounds, I do honestly want feedback. I made this channel to talk about things important to me regarding Canadian politics. I have a strong knowledge base in industrial processes, economic modeling, and climate change. But I also care about a huge host of other topics that affect me and my fellow Canadians, like housing, support for the Ukraine war, and trans rights here in Alberta. I know climate change and some of these other topics could be pretty heavy, so I also want to cover lighter topics on this channel too, like my experience running Jeff Nippard's newest workout program, and my prep for strongman and bodybuilding competitions, and maybe finally putting out my Pathfinder, or d d videos talking about my experience as a game master. Then maybe my channel name will actually make sense. I like to think that I'm pretty good at research, but as I get further and further away from my technical field, the chances that I make mistakes increases. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to misunderstand things, and I want you all to hold me accountable. I'm happy to admit where I go wrong and where I could improve. I'm happy to update my priors, update my videos, and even remove them if they're wrong. So please keep me honest, hold me accountable, and call me out on my shit. I don't normally plug anything, but I have a Discord channel and a subreddit in the video description if you want to join. This way we can keep the discussions going, you can ask me questions, or provide suggestions for the channel. My schedule can be a little bit difficult, as I have to intermittently travel for work, but I plan on doing a little bit of streaming. This way I can provide something interesting for you all to watch while we discuss the topics that I've discussed on this channel. I like a mix of games like Total War, Warhammer 3, Helldivers 2, or Baldur's Gate 3. But I'll also be using Dungeon Alchemist, which I use to build maps for my Pathfinder or D&D style games. My plan is to do it on Tuesday nights, so 6 p.m. to maybe 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. But the structured videos will probably stay around Canadian politics and decarbonization. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and thank you for all the support so far.